Hello, everyone. I'm getting things set up here. I think we're going to have a great stream. I'm going to wait for a few minutes for everybody to come in and get here. So while we're doing that, I'll kind of flip through some of the pages that I made last week during that live stream. So I got to get my camera set right. I, think I need to go this way. There we go. <clears throat> kind of get it in there so you can see that. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Kim. So glad you're here. So this is one of the pages that I made last week on our mixed media backgrounds. This is one that was kind of a mop up of some paint. There's one that we made and it has a little bit of some yellow and teal and blue in there. Hey, Dina. This one has a lot of embossing on it. So it has some gold glitter embossing powder on top of it. This one was just using a couple of different round things. Hey, Les, Leslie, it's <laughs> so good to have you here. This one we stamped on top and we used bubble wrap and then used embossing powder over the top of the bubble wrap because it was with a juicy ink pad. I understand, Kylie. I know because it's late for you in Scotland, if I remember correctly. So I understand. Not everybody can be here. That one was using shaving cream, as was this one, and paint in the shaving cream. So it's got some neat color and texture to it. And I use metallic paints. Hey, Melody. So glad to have you here. I'm just going over some of the pages from last week when we did our mixed media backgrounds kind of showing you how they looked after they dried lots of neat patterns this one was kind of fun with the pink and the purple and the teal some of them were glossy paper some of them were uh, cardstock some of them were glossy cardstock some of them were text weight paper hey angelica so glad to have you here I think, Angelica, are you in Germany, if I remember correctly? <clears throat> so we've got people from all around the world with us today. And I'm so glad to have you here. And I really appreciate you coming to the streams and your chatting and sharing. What's everybody been up to? Have you made anything cool this week? Yes, Jeremy, I thought I was right. <clears throat> hey, Kim, so glad to have you here. Um, so let's see. How many of you have made something this week because of a tutorial or project that I have shared? I'd love to know uh, what you've been making. <laughs> hey, Jamie. West Virginia, Melody says. For those of you that don't know, I'm in Yukon, Oklahoma, United States. That's pretty much smack dab in the middle of the United States. And... When I say Yukon, it's just outside of Oklahoma City. Hey, Cheryl. Les says she's been doing adult coloring books. Those are fun. I've been doing some mixed media stuff this week. I just finished a custom-made junk journal. i got to make a journal charm for it, and then I'll be able to mail it out. It is a birthday gift that was commissioned for me to make, and I've turned that into... Um, and I'm going to be turning into a workshop. I've done over 40 videos that I've got to edit. Hey, Naomi. Ah, Elijah's there. Yay. Hello, Elijah. Hello, hello. <laughs> so I've been busy. I've been playing and, and creating. So anyhow, I just wanted to kind of show you some of those pages from last week. Okay. I'll put these away. So today... We're going to do, I call it a master board. So where these were backgrounds, a master board is a piece of artwork that you want to create a big piece so that it has pretty much the same color theme. And then you cut it up and you make it into tags or pockets or whatever you like out of the greeting cards even. Hey, Tracy. Oh, Tracy said she made some tags after watching one of my tutorials. So glad to have you here. 
<laughs> he looked at the screen. Naomi's son uh, said he. She said he looked at the screen because she knows my name. <laughs> And he's still pretty young, I believe. <clears throat> so we're glad to have him here. Teach him young. Teach him young. Melody says she's working on a 2019 mini calendar swap made with things she already had. So that's cool. I've got to work on a planner. So that'll be taking me some time in November, I think, is when I'll work on that. Naomi says one and a half. He's a cutie. Just a little guy. Little guy. Uh, what else have I been doing this week? This week I went to Canvas Corp Brands, who is the home of Canvas Corp Brands Paper, Seven Gypsies, and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So I spent two days there, and we're working on a couple of projects. One of those is in collaboration with Norella of Calico Collage, they are printing her Dragonfly Delight Kit. It will have 12 by 12 papers as well as 8.5 by 11 paper. And they will be featured on Create and Craft, I believe, in like another week. So you'll want to look for that. For those of you that are in the UK, look for Create and Craft and Dragonfly Delight. And so I was making some samples for them to ship since I'm one of Norella's designers and I'm one of Canvas Corp's designers. It worked out that I could do for both. And so they've got a bunch of samples that they'll have online. So when you see those, you'll know that I made a lot of those. And then the next thing that I was there working on is Norella and I have worked together and we're going to have a subscription box <clears throat> This first subscription box will be winter themed. It won't be Christmas, but it could be Christmas if you just tweak it just a little bit. But it doesn't say Merry Christmas or anything like that in there. So that's a kit that we're working on. Canvas Corp Brands is going to be working with us to print those images. They're custom making Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist to go with that. And then I will have a custom stencil that'll go in that box, as well as some goodies that I have picked up, lace and bits of paper and trims and that kind of stuff so that you guys can have fun with this. So that's some things that are coming together down the pipe. So we're so glad to be able to put something like this together. And I hope that you guys enjoy it when we start posting. So be on the lookout. Um, hope for my prayers and my wishes and my fingers crossed that my uh, subscription box, the window of purchasing, if we can get it done, we're hoping by October 31st through November the 16th. We did it as a wide window because it's pre-sale. And the idea is that you would go in and you could buy the kit. And then there's some add-on kits that go with a subscription box. If you choose to do that, some people may want to break it up over two pay periods. So be on the lookout for that. If you aren't already following me on my um Facebook page, Linda Israel. I'll give you that link so you'll have it. Make sure you do so that you get notifications when I am posting new things and I will post there as well as my website. And of course, once I have an example to share to everybody, I will put it out here on YouTube. Hey, pardon me, Mia, we're so glad to have you here. Hey, Cheryl. So glad to have you here as well. All right. Well, let's kind of get started on the master board. Master board, again, is a piece of artwork that you plan to cut up or do other things with. Okay. <clears throat> and prior to the video today, I've been working on a master board. So what I'm going to show you first is a scanned copy of what the beginnings of my master board looked like. I feel like I'm not straight here. My camera's not straight and it's going to bug me and I don't want to move it too much. <laughs> hey, Angela. So glad to have you here. And so I started with a piece of 
what I call linen cardstock. I pasted on bits of paper, I stamped and used some gesso. And then I ended up painting over the top of that. And this is where I am on that piece. And my plan is to paint some flowers on top of that. And then I'll end up scanning it and then cutting it out. So I do want to say to those of you, this is what it looks like printed with my inkjet printer. And this was printed with my laser jet printer. So they get a little different look to them depending on the uh, printer. But I will say, for those of you that have uh, commented online, I had a couple of people message me that when you're scanning in your artwork, you want to make sure that you're not using things that are copywritten that you are not allowed to make a photocopy of and sell. So what I've used in here is I have used rubber stamps that I know has a brilliant angel policy. An angel policy tells you how you can use their product. Some companies, you can only use it for personal use, period. Some companies you can sell, but it's limited, only so many. Some companies you cannot scan anything, and some companies you can do whatever you want with. And the rubber stamp companies that I'm using, they allow you to do just about everything except for try to sell their stamp again. <laughs> And so that's why I use that. And then in the background, the words that you're seeing, I ended up using pages out of dictionary. I'll get my thumb in the window here. A dictionary, a hymnal, and a couple of Bibles. So I have like two different styles of dictionaries, a hymnal, and two to three styles of a Bible. Because the Bible and the hymnal and the dictionary are all works that someone else has created. What's copywritten on those, and you got to make sure if you're going with a really old one, is the reprinting of that. And I'm not reprinting the dictionary. You can't see the definitions. You just see a hint of it back there. So make sure that you're knowing what you are working with copyright so you don't get in trouble. And thank you, Robin. And let's see who else was here. <clears throat> We've got Robin and Kylie, and they are helping by being administrators along with Naomi here in this uh, feed. So if you see something bad pop up, they're going to try to take care of that and get rid of those. And I appreciate the thumbs up. You know, share this video right now if you want other people to come and hang out with us. We'd love to have you come hang out with us as well. Okay, so where are we? Any questions to this point about what I'm talking about? What a master board is. So basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat. So you take an eight and a half by 11, whatever size piece of paper you have. Generally, a watercolor paper works best, but you can do a piece of cardstock. I just happen to have a linen cardstock. And then I tore up some papers. So here's some of the bits that I tore up. And then I started pasting them down onto a piece of paper here. So that's all I've done so far. Does that make sense? Anybody not understand what I just shared? That I just took some papers and I used my little glue pot and I painted it on with the glue and then stuck the piece of paper down and I've let it dry. So it's pretty dry at the moment. So any questions on that so far? I'm going to get a drink of water. Actually, I'm going to get a drink. This is hot tea. It's cold here today. We got below freezing overnight. Our first time to go below freezing here in Oklahoma. This, uh, wind, so, what is this, fall? <laughs> What's the weather like where you are? Is it hot or cold? Rainy, snowy, dry, heat? <laughs> Naomi is in Australia and she says, it's hot here today. <clears throat> I need to learn how to know the difference between Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit because I have no clue. It always confused me whenever my foreign exchange student was living with me and she would say, it's 30 degrees Celsius. And I'm like, that's freaking cold. 
<laughs> and it's not. <laughs> Uh, Carmen Texas says it's 43 degrees in Dallas, Texas. Angel says it's in the upper 80s in South Florida. That's where we need to go. It's cold in Kentucky. <laughs> there is cloudy and cold in Istanbul, uh, Mia says. Angel says too hot for the season, if you ask me. We have Google conversion. Yes, we have to use that. <laughs> Okay, 32 degrees Fahrenheit equals zero Celsius. That kind of helps me out there. So if it was 32 here, you know that it's zero Celsius. And if it was 80 degrees here, you would kind of figure out that it is, what is that for you guys? That would be uh, 50 something de degrees Celsius. I I'm not very good at math, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so Naomi says it's 22 degrees Celsius there, which is equivalent to 72 Fahrenheit, which 72 is not bad to me. 77 in Alabama, that's not bad to me. I, I would love to live somewhere that it stayed in the 70s year round. I would be just ecstatic. <laughs> Nancy says she's in Ohio and it's the same where I am. I love the 70s temperature wise. Didn't care for much for bell bottoms though. <laughs> Becky says it's 74 in California. <laughs> Naomi says when I find that place, I'm moving in. <laughs> there is a place in Mexico that Henry and I want to go visit someday that we've been told that the average temperatures are in the 70s. You know, it doesn't get much higher than like you know, 89, and it does getting lower than 55. So that would be not too bad. Billy, uh, Billy Joe is in Devon, UK. So I don't, please don't ever get offended if I make an accent. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I just love the accents. <laughs> so hello. <laughs> and I it would be for um, Naomi, be hello, mate. <laughs> And then the, the UK would be, hello, governor. <laughs> That's about the extent of it. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm so glad you're here. So what I've done so far is I have put some pieces of paper on here. We up to that point? <laughs> Naomi says, I don't say mate. <laughs> I think part of that's from the movies, Naomi. So that's that's the from not having true experience of being there. Someday I'll get there. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to put some stamping on here. So I'm going to grab some of those stamps that I used uh, earlier. <laughs> the governor. <laughs> oh dear. You know, uh, Angela says my laugh is contagious, and I learned a, a long time ago that. You've got to enjoy life. If you can't laugh at things, you're going to be a pretty miserable person. So enjoy life. Laugh at things. You know, even if someone's making fun of you, you can laugh and say, you know, I know somebody that can do better than that. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So I've got a couple of stamps here and I'm just using... I'm using graphite black because this is my juicy stamp pad at the moment. I'm too lazy to um, uh, ink up my stays on. But a permanent ink or an ink that you can heat set is what you want to use so that it doesn't bleed when you go over it later. And I'm just going to go in here and kind of add a little bit of texture every once in a while. <clears throat> Yeah, I love brilliance are really good ink pads. And I buy the re-inkers. So when you buy an ink pad, get it from your shop or order it online. You know, if you have a local shop where you purchase your stuff, get the re-inker too. Cause then your juicy, your stamp that you pad that you buy that was juicy when you bought it, if it ever dries up, you can re-ink it. <laughs> I love this what Naomi says. She's I, I always say it and I'm not going to stop saying it. She says, I love how human you are, Linda. You're as lazy as the rest of us. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> 
I'm just normal human being. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so I've I put a couple of little designs on there. <laughs> All right, so now let's um oh, this is a neat stamp. It's got it looks like little tassels. Let's use that one today. I haven't used it in a while. So we'll just kind of find places to put it on. And remember when you're doing a master board, the idea is you're going to cut it up. So you want to go in different directions. You want to go off the page a little bit so that you get some neat texture all over. Okay. So I just put a little bit, um, I'm having problems judging where my camera is because it's backwards <laughs> on my screen. So it just makes me, it looks weird to me. <clears throat> Ah, uh, it's what, thank you, Naomi. <laughs> she says it's what attracts people to me, to you, basically. Go on full screen mode, Mia says. Isn't that kind of neat to stamp like that? Oh, sorry, you're having power problems. Hey, no problem. We're glad you're having, I'm glad you don't have any lightning and I'm glad I'm not having thunderstorms today either. So that last stamp, I believe was from... Beeline designs and I'm going to if people like these I'm going to start offering them in my shop. They don't sell retail. They only sell two shops. So basically I have to buy wholesale. So if um, there's a stamp that you like definitely come over to my Facebook page and let me know. Hey, Linda, I would like to know more about that tassel stamp or that wrought iron stamp. Or even, I think this is one. I'll have to ask her. Yeah, uh, the diamonds. And then this is like a little swirly thing. <clears throat> so I think I'm just about ready. Okay, I'm going to do this swirly one just a little bit. So I'm just going to add a few of these in here. And I'm not pressing all the way down. I just want a hint of that image. Does that make sense? Sometimes it kind of looks cool to not be able to see the whole thing. Okay. How many stamps do I have, Melody asks? I have never counted them, but I can tell you that I'm pretty confident it is somewhere in the uh, probably 4,000 stamps. Probably. Some of them are mounted like this, and then I have a bunch that are what we call unmounted. You know, they have that cling on the back. I have some in rubber, and I have them in clear. So I'm pretty confident that I have probably around 4,000 stamps. Hey, Noella. I was talking about you earlier. So glad to have you here. Yeah, Tracy, I have a bunch, and I keep buying them, so I, I can't stop. <laughs> And I don't get rid of them either. Um, you know, there are some people that are demonstrators for companies. And so they get rid of them because they don't want to have them in their inventory and have a customer ask about them. And I've been crafting like, no, uh, bleh, I can't get the word out. Robin says, you know, I've been doing this for a while. Henry and I have been married 26 years. And I know I bought my first stamp just before we got married. And then I've just been doing art and since I was a teenager. And if y'all know the math, I'm 49. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. So I've been collecting these for a while. All right. So I'm going to do this diamond just a little bit in here. Just kind of kiss it every once in a while. Like that. <clears throat> well, Sandra, I have changed how I store some of them. I have some in um, bins behind me in my studio that I have not moved out yet. I have some of the um, unmounted stamps in binders. So like a notebook, a three ring notebook. And then I have some in uh, baskets so that I can find them when I want. <laughs> so here's like, these are all my, um, thank you, not, not all, I have two drawers of these. 
I have two little bins. They're kind of like those cheap uh, bins you get. So it's just kind of a way to store them. And then I have a, a new shelf. If you take, uh, let's see, I've got a tour of my new studio place at our shop. And I show where I did with some of my stamps there. And Robin says the ones she uses the most are in a basket. The rest are somewhere. <laughs> and I have a few that I use a lot. Um, I think if I tilt this camera, I hope I won't make you go sick. But over here, if I get it up there. So here I have little drawers. And I have stamps that I like to use a lot in here. So those are kind of handy to me. So try to bring you back into place. <laughs> and it's crooked. I don't know why it's crooked. But maybe this will be better. Hey, I got it straight. <laughs> All right. So there is my stamped background. What do you think of that so far? So Norella, I showed a little bit of the pages that I made last week. And at the beginning, I showed them my pages that I've been working on that I've been texting to you in Messenger. You like that? I mean, it's kind of cool just like that. If you have a scanner and you have the ability to print um, and you're using things that aren't going to get you in trouble copyright wise, you could scan that in and use it for other things. You know, it's, it's something you don't have to recreate over and over, but it's also fun to create them over and over and over. Hey, Chandra, so glad to have you here. You like that? Isn't that kind of neat? See, and then Robin says she would leave it how I have it. And you can do that. I'm going to add color and more texture. I'm going to show Norella so she can see this really fast. Because I know she has to get off here. She has to go take care of her kids. So, Norella, I sent you a photo of this. And this is printed on cardstock. And I just love the way that looks. Don't you think we can use something like that? And then this is my page after I added some paint. And then... This is scanning it in and showing what it looks like on my inkjet printer. And this is the same image, but I printed it on the laser printer. And it's really interesting to me how the color changes just from using an inkjet versus a laser jet. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that crazy? You didn't, it doesn't look like it's printed. It looks like this should have texture that you should be able to feel that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm pretty proud of it. Hey, Regina. So glad to have you. All right. What do you think of that? You like that? So we're going to do, see all this texture that I put on here? That's what we're going to put on here now. I'm going to show you how to do that. So Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Are y'all ready? <laughs> Are you excited? Who knows what this is? Have you ever seen this? Do you know where sequins come from? Sequins are made out of this mylar plasticky stuff. And when they punch it out, they then have what is called sequin waste. Some people call it punchinella. And then this be can become a project or product you can use in your art because it's like a stencil. Gloria, I have two printers. My inkjet printer is a very old Epson. And when it dies, I want to replace it with the newer model. And then I have a laser printer, laser jet printer. There's no wet ink. It uses toner that is an HP. And I, I'm sure there's a newer model. And so I can share. Um, I, what I'll do is if you'll go over to my Facebook page and ask me that question again, Gloria, um, I'll try to get a link to mine and I'll also, you know what, I'll come back and it'll be in the comments of this video when I uh, 
update what they are, give you a link to them so you can kind of look at them. When I bought my printer, I did a lot of uh, research, learning about what the printer could do, um, what it costs to operate the printer. And there's a lot of people, and I think a couple of you in the feed here have, um, don't you have the HP, what is that process? There's an ink thing that they have that you can say how much you want to spend a month and they'll automatically send you ink for your inkjet printer. So that might be something you will look at. All right. So yes, Mia, this is called Punchinella or Sequin Waste. It, HP Instant Ink. I have not done that, but I want to do that. <laughs> Tracy says she suddenly has a real problem. Glue is making her skin dry out and crack. What can I do? I keep um, cheap lotion by my desk, and I am constantly putting lotion on my hands. I have a towel here, but I'll rub this in. Use whatever you like. I keep it nearby uh, on my workstation. And then what you'll want to do is make sure that you dry your hands off. I did the aloe one because it didn't seem to leave a greasy residue once it dries. So that might be something you should do. <laughs> You like <laughs> so ah so see my hands are already dry. Um, use gloves in a bottle. That's another great product. You can also put um olive oil on your hands and put them inside some uh, bags. You know, like a, a Ziploc bag. Kind of just put a little a hair scrunchie over it and put olive oil on your hands and let that set for a little while. And that'll just really get into your hands and soothe them. Okay. Art Guard is another one that Kylie says. Cheryl says she has the Instant Ink 300 page program. Are you happy with it, Cheryl? Do you feel like that's a great value? And are you printing 300 pages a month? So while she's going to answer that, I'm going to go here. I've got some gesso okay gesso that i have put out onto a palette prior to the video and i'm going to take this little punchinella piece and i'm kind of go off the edge and i'm going to scrape through that I'm just using an old key card room card something like that and that's going to give us some raised texture but not super thick hey austin so glad to have you here I don't know what Art Guard is. That's what somebody else said. So maybe they can explain better. I'm sure it's probably a product for artists to use on their hands. Glad you made it, Austin. Austin is one of very few gentlemen in our Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. So I always like to see what he is doing. So say hi to Austin. Make him feel welcome. See, so he'll keep coming back. <laughs> so um karma says that she has the same thing 300 pages for 9.99 and she posted a link and if uh you do, i guess she probably gets a referral i bet and if you don't print all 300 it will roll over up to 300 pages a month so that's kind of cool that's cool all right so i've got some circles on this side, and we'll flip it around and I'll put a little bit more over here. Oh, that's awesome. So Cheryl thinks it's an awesome value. And you know, honestly, I'm thinking that may be something I do when my Epson printer dies. It's been a, a workhorse and a great printer. But if I'm going to have to go back to another inkjet, the cost of printing can get so astronomical. So if I had that instant ink program by HP and didn't have to worry about it, I'm not printing 300 unless I'm really trying to do something or, you know, swap or something like that. And I'm trying to make some stuff. All right. So 
whenever you put a layer down, and I want to really ingrain this to your heads on mixed media, you want to set it. You want to dry it. Because if you don't, when you go to do the next one, things will mix and you'll be unhappy. So make sure that you dry it. Okay, so Karma says they're gonna, she's going to increase her rollover to 600 a month starting next month. She prints a lot of colored pages. Even if I only print 150 pages a month, I'm still only spending $10 because the ink is free. And, you know, I can tell you that when I looked up through, say, Staples to have them print some images for me, and it was going to be roughly 50 to 60 cents per page. And that can get expensive if you're trying to print a lot of pages. Oh, Billy Joe, you can use any printer you want. I have printed on my inkjet and I have printed on my laser. The laser for me costs less. I also know that the pages will not bleed. So that if I'm putting mixed media over the top of it or using Tattered Angel, they won't bleed. An inkjet printer, you have to heat set the page if you think you're going to spray anything on it. And you can also um, coat the pages before you do anything with that, okay? And I just use normal copy paper. Now, you can use what is called color laser paper or color inkjet paper. It costs more, and it's going to have a deeper, vivid tone to it, in my opinion. It does look better. It just costs more. I don't know that the Insta Ink program works outside of the U.S., Naomi. I, it seems like I saw someone say it didn't. But it might, I don't know. So you may have to go to HP and look. Okay. Ah, Cheryl's on the design team for Tracy Fox Creative. Awesome. Okay, Billy Joe says that they do Instant Ink International. I use Instant Ink as well. Billy, I forgot, Billy Joe is in the UK. All right, so I'm going to get another stencil here. I've got one that's one of the Tim Holtz stencils, and we're going to do some more gesso with that. Austin says his local library will do color printing for like 10 cents a sheet, which is really cheap. And if you have the time to go hang out at the library and or you need to save some money, sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, Kylie says that gesso can also be substitute for white paint in some instances, especially if using a distressed effect. I agree with that. I like, for what I'm doing, and I'm going to tell you why I chose the gesso. The gesso, to me, when I go over it later with other paint or with, uh, when I, and I say paint, because Tattered Angels is a paint as well, or acrylic paint, it reacts differently than an acrylic paint does because of the plastics that are in an acrylic paint. Follow? Am I rambling? <laughs> Calico, uh, na na bleh. I got Naomi and Norella, so I couldn't get the name out. Um, Norella says when people ask her about what type of paper to use, she suggests 28-pound to 32-pound paper uh, with whatever whiteness, or with a whiteness of at least 98. So it'll be a bright white paper. And that's if you really want some quality prints, okay? Nope, ramble on. <laughs> All right, so by the way, I have a little tub of water here that I've put a, a, not even a full cap full of some Young Living Thieves cleaner so that it doesn't get mucky. And that way, if I'm working on a tool and I don't want to run to my um, 
sink right now, I can plop it in there and it will clean up easily later. Hey, Julie, so glad to have you here. Yay. So Naomi says acrylic is basically plastic. So instead of soaking up the color, it resists it more. Where verso ha or gesso has a tendency to hold to hold what you're making, and I mean soak as it holds it in place, not absorb. Hey Norella, you should talk about doing a membership program, but they are per item, Austin. And she was having a huge sale. I don't know if it's ended today or not. A bunch of her images she had for 60% off through, I think it was yesterday for sure, but she may have extended it. I don't know. Who here has a YouTube channel? If you do, just say, I have a YouTube channel. And then everyone here can go in and follow that person and see how they're doing. Okay, uh, Calico has them on 40% off on the journal kits. That's a great price. If you watch my videos, you know that I use hers <laughs> and I use them all the time. The Cockney Craftner has a YouTube channel. Mia has a YouTube channel. And Austin has one, woo, woo. Calico Collage. All right. So there is with the gesso. What do you think of that? You liking it? Yes, gesso has a lot of tooth and it will help a uh, solid a little bit more. And I, I use white acrylic paint too. I just, on this project, just chose that. So if you don't have it, use white paint. If you don't have, you know, White paint, but you got gesso, use gesso. Just have fun. <laughs> so, yes, un understand the differences. All righty. Okay, so, and Cheryl has a YouTube channel. So, let's grab a couple of colors of Tattered Angels. I think, I think I want to do some blues. What do y'all think? You like blue? I've got a patina. I think I'm almost out of curious. I don't even see a bottle. I should have got some, but I got to go back. I think that is it. Curious. Gesso makes it feel like a thicker wallpaper. Yeah, it does. It is thicker. And, and it's kind of cool to use it. Um, because of the texture that it gives. It's not super thick. So can you see that it's not really standing up off the page? So it's going to be relatively flat. But the look of it just gives you such great texture. Can you see all that texture? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I've got some... Uh, just a bottle that I put water in that so there's a little bit of color still in but I was out of it the color so I'm just going to put some water in that and the next thing I'm going to do is I've got different colors of Tattered Angel this one's called Patina and then we're just going to kind of spray it and this one is Empirical, Empiric, Imperial Blue so I'm just dropping it on here and see how it kind of grabs on to the gesso. I don't know. It's just kind of cool how it does it. I'm just, I'm just playing. That's all. Just play. Oh, yeah, gesso is great for a primer on old books, too. And allows that color to just go right into it. Yeah, definitely. What do you think? How are we doing here? Is that, I'm, I'm, I keep getting in the way of the camera. I'm like, dear Linda. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, clear gesso is also a good one, too. I just got a 
clear modeling paste and I think I got a clear gesso. I'll have to look at my um, stuffs again. All right, so I think I want... Yeah, so you can put clear over so you can preserve things. I've got another product that I've used that is great for helping to preserve things too. I think All right, you're not you're not falling out like I want. Okay, fine. So I really put a big bunch there and so now I'm just going to let it run down the page and I'm adding a little bit of water. Okay. So that's kind of a teal color. You liking it? Now, here's what I'm going to tell you again. Before I add another color, what is it important to do, class? <laughs> Oh my, Ellen! <laughs> I've had a, a leak on me too. I've got a purple one. <laughs> Good job, Robin. Um, I have a purple uh, glimmer mist that I love to use, and every time my fingers are purple up to my knuckle. <laughs> Very good, Austin. Very good, Angelica. <laughs> Mia says dry. Every you're learning. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Hey, Lo, so glad to have you watching. It's almost bedtime there. And I think um, Angelica is in Germany. And she's probably in bed. <laughs> and I think Kylie is close to bed, too, for her. Isn't it really late there for you, Kylie? All right. So if you're drying... And it's not seeming to really dry fast enough for you. I've just grabbed a paper towel. And all I'm going to do is just blot it. You could use a piece of paper if you want. And it'll lift some of the color. But really, it's just going to take some of that wetness away. Okay? And I love how the gesso crackled. Can you see that? It crackled. Isn't that cool? Okay, so when when a glimmer mist has a problem with the sprayer, I'm gonna lay this to kind of blow on here. What you'll want to do is take the sprayer unit out. I'm gonna put a towel here. I'm trying to get this to dry. So you can pull out the top portion and you can pull this part out as well. I can't without a pair of pliers, okay? Then take all of these pieces and soak them in warm to not, you know, you can put your fingers in it, not super hot because you don't want to melt the plastic and let it soak for a little bit. Then you can also take a really tiny, tiny needle and stick it in the hole here to see if it's clogged and then put it all back together and see if it works, okay? And if it doesn't, you can order more sprayers from Tattered Angels. So next time you order your next batch of Tattered Angels, just put in a set of these. I think there's like three or four of them in a package and they're pretty cheap. They just, you know, sometimes they just clog because of the glimmer. It has so much mica in there that if you're not real careful and you don't shake them and make sure that that glimmer mist isn't resting on the bottom so it can get sucked up in the straw, that's what you have to do. <laughs> Oh, you'll, you'll like it, Cindy. I hope you'll like it when you go back. Okay, so Robin, um, they told me that they have, I don't remember how many in the case or, you know, what how many bottles they actually have, but they do have some four-ounce bottles. And one of my favorite colors is Curious. That's what you're kind of seeing right here. 
It's just a beautiful iridescent tealish blue color. And I think I can get a custom run of one color. Hey, Henry, that's my husband. <laughs> He's being silly. Um, and we can do a custom run. So maybe what we'll do is um, uh, we'll do a poll and see what color everybody wants. Mia wants to know how to mute my dryer. Um, it's really quiet. It's a certain brand. It's called Heat It. And it just doesn't have near the noise. Yeah, Austin, that's my husband, Henry. Austin, meet Henry. <laughs> <clears throat> you liking that? Isn't that kind of cool? I'm, get, I'm getting a drink. I'm getting dry. I got a drink. Well, and I have one that sounds like that, too. So I, here's here's my other one. You ready? Hold your ears, y'all. It's going to sound like a jet engine. <laughs> so this one's this one gets a little loud, okay? <laughs> you don't have to use a heat tool, Sandra but you want it to dry before you go to the next step. So if you don't have a heat tool, just set it aside, let it dry, check it later. When it's dry, bring it back and you can use it again, okay? See? <laughs> Oh, Naomi's husband is a little bit cheeky, as she would say. <laughs> you are very welcome. You are very welcome. <laughs> Naomi is my favorite now. <laughs> That's my husband saying that. <laughs> Rutro, Austin doesn't live in the UK and he ended up with a UK version of a heat tool. <laughs> so make sure you read the description well. All right, this guy, my, I put my thumb down and it's still a little wet here. I think I want, I want a little bit of purple. I like purple. Don't you think? We'll need some purple here in a moment. That's why we keep them around, Naomi. Their ridiculousness. Sometimes I'm just sitting there going, why did you say that? Because cause it's funny. And I said, no, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. I need to share... All right, I got to find the link. Where's the link to my old video, y'all? <laughs> oh, I think if I go here, give me, I have, somebody is instant messaging me that they missed the live and I've got to tell her I'm, I'm right here. So I'll tell her I'm on. And I wanted her to be able to watch this if she wanted to. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. No, not to us. Apparently it's funny in man language. <laughs> well, thank you, Sandra. I'm so glad that you subscribed. I'm glad to have you here. And again, I hope, you know, you enjoy this. And of course, my tutorials that I put out. Hopefully you saw the tutorial from uh, Saturday where I showed the pink violet, what is a violet junk journal page and the rainbow page journal will be hopefully worked on this week. I can get it done. All right, I think I want a little bit of purple and I don't know if I want to do, I think I have a purple metallic if I can find it. Yep, I found it. I found the purple metallic. <clears throat> so my tray is 
full. I didn't clean my tray out earlier. So I'm going to use some of this paint really fast in a couple of areas. And I'm really scraping that. I'm not um, letting it stay on top. And that's giving me the texture underneath. I just want to put a little, you can still see underneath. I don't know if you can see the stamping underneath. Okay. <laughs> Leo said she would stop there. It's, it's amazing. I said, but I can't stop. I have to keep going. Okay, now I want just a and see, and I try to put those colors where they're not touching each other. And on the screen, it looks a lot brighter than it really is. It's not that bright. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to use a brush. And I'm going... We're going to do that. What do you think? Can you see that? Where I put the bubble look? Kind of a neat looking thing there. Good night, Tracy. Sleep well. Thanks for being here. And I do understand when people have to go. I appreciate you spending the time. We're just goofing off and having some fun. If you like it, you liking it the way it looks. I think a little bit right there. Okay. So I'm going to kind of tilt this. Can you kind of see all that yummy color and texture? Isn't that pretty? All right. So I'm going to dump my. Um, put my brush into the water and I'm putting my and I'll also put my tray in the water so it can kind of clean off a little bit before I want to do the next color or thing. So we're going to dry this a little bit and then we're going to stamp on top of it. <clears throat> Who knows what has stopped at the blank piece of paper? <laughs> oh good, I'm glad you got your stencils, Kitty. Um, I don't know, Robin, if I want to add a pop of yellow just yet. I I think I might. I'm going to try something and see wh what it looks like. So we'll see. It's funny, I haven't even used one of my stencils on here yet, have I? Let's do that right now. And that will meet... Um, the yellow requirement. So this is one of my lace stencils that I have in the shop. And here's what I'm going to do. I've got Simply Sheer. It doesn't have mica in it called Maple Yellow. So I'm going to spray this. It's not a lot. Okay. And then let's grab a piece of paper. I'm going to mop up what's on top of the stencil just so that it's easier to pick it up and it's not so messy. And now we have just, just a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit of yellow, okay? So we're going to dry this. I'm going to let my heat tool kind of go over that. little perfect pot not a lot just a little I do I have the um, gel press Mia I can do you want me to do that next Monday I can get out my gel press and show you guys how to use that 
Does that sound like a fun thing? All right, you liking that? All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp over this with this flower stamp. Can I see that? Austin says, yes, please. Robin says, that would be fun. Kitty says, Good, sounds great. All right, so here's what I want you to do. If you want to craft along, you're going to want to get a gel press. And I'll create an event when I get off here that says gel press. And I'll put links that you can, if you haven't purchased one yet, you could buy through my link and I get a little bit of a commission. And I'll just list all the supplies you might want to have handy. You don't have to. If you don't want to play along, you don't have to. You can watch the live. And if you get inspired to buy all the supplies do that if you're on the fence just watch don't buy everything because it's nothing like spending money on tools and then you're like i don't use those ever again what do you think y'all you like it do you like that <clears throat> You like it? Well, someone says, wish I could scan that for purchase. I'll tell you what, if you can stand being here for just a moment without me and uh, not give me a thumbs down, <laughs> I'll run in the other room. I'll scan this. Then I'm going to cut it up and I will have a drawing where, I don't know how many tags we'll get out of this. Three tags, I think, maybe, out of this. And some bits and pieces. I'll pick three winners. In fact, I need to pick a winner for last week's. And I got their names all picked out. So we're in the event. You're going to come to Facebook or back here to this YouTube. Either one. You need to leave a comment. What you loved about today. And we're going to see if we can't get that um, drawing put together and I'll ask Norella if she'll help me tweak this and we'll create this into a free download. Can y'all wait on me? All right. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, it's scanning. It takes it a minute or two to scan. So I got it in there, okay? <laughs> oh, dear. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, here, I'll let you stare at those. Austin, your name's in there. <laughs> All right, I'm coming back. It's still scanning. <laughs> if if you all only knew the little maze I have to run. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, <laughs> what did Henry say? <laughs> Don't be doing a thumbs down. Okay, so these people came to my event on Facebook due to um, 
last week's live and told me what they liked about it. And so I said the three people that I draw, they're going to get a tag each, one tag. So Robin, you get a tag. And Nicole um, in Deanna Henderson is going to get a tag. And Austin Arnold, oops, I'm not on the camera, is going to get a tag, okay? Yeah, awesome. So I've got those tags. I'm going to go get that piece of paper, and I'll be right back. Hopefully it's done scanning. <clears throat> Okie dokie, it finally finished, and I got the tag so I could show you, so you can see that I got them finished, so Robin's going to get a tag, so there's a tag, Nicole's going to get a tag, and Austin's going to get a tag, so I will need your mailing addresses, um, if you'll get that to me on Facebook, I'd greatly appreciate it, okay? <laughs> Austin says his neighbors are screaming. They're either dying or having fun. <laughs> okay. Was there anything that I missed that I need to uh, be worried about? <laughs> I checked it. It did scan in. So if uh, Norella can help me make that a, a free download that you guys and gals can use. Um, we will do that. So, but we're going to make some tags, really simple ones. So let's see, I'm going to go four inches here. That's not, a, yeah, that's right. Me and math, y'all. I'm not that good at it. So that would be, okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to cut four inches. So I've got it going uh, landscape. Okay. I'm good. Glad Norella. I thought we might be able to. And then this is four inches and this is four inches. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this at six inches because I like having li pieces left over for other projects. So I'm making a four by six. And another one. And then one more. So we're going to have three four by sixes. And then one two and a half by four inch. All right, Norella, we'll see you later. Thanks for being here. All right, what do you think? So we just kind of make a little tag out of those with the remainder of our time. We've been on for an hour. Bye, Leos. So do you want me to embellish these or do you mean just cut them with tags and put a ribbon on it and be done? What do you think? <laughs> oh, Arnold says he went to a, a mercantile shop and found metal stamps for a dollar each. Do you know 
when those were a thing, it seems super old. Well, depending on the stamps, it could be that they really aren't stamps. They're printing press letters and they are designed that they put it in a rack and line them all up and it squeezed it together and keeps them tight. And then it is put on the printing press and ink is swiped over. Then the machine pushes down. And that's how you used to see that papers looked indented when you printed. That's one of the ways you do that. Hey, Henry, I'm not that old, but I know the process because I'm kind of educated in this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mia, don't fall asleep. All right, so Leslie says to make uh, embellished. Cindy says just tags. Kathy says tags. Angelica says embellished tags. <laughs> All right, so let's just make these into tags. And I'm going to make them the what I call the traditional tag shape. And how I do that is I'm going to go up here and use my, well, let me move this a little bit. Okay. Ah, crash. I'm using this one inch grid and I'm just going to make a mark on both corners so I can cut this off after I pick up what's fell on the floor. Blech. All right. So then what I'll do is I'll take all of these and stack them up together and I'll get my... These are my Fisker Easy Touch. I love them because they're so easy to operate. And I'll just line it up from one mark to the other and cut that across and kind of grab those pieces and flip it over here and use that as a guide to cut this side. And then your tags are pretty even. So if you've ever been frustrated about that, use a one inch guide to make that corner if it's a big tag like this and you'll be much happier how carrie i don't understand what you're asking how would you want it to come in the mail blank or completed i don't know <laughs> um yeah, I, I missed it. All right, so we've got embellished. So I've cut the tags there, and I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Hmm, if I use my ruler, I can make a little mark. Oh, let's see. Get that lined up. I got quiet all of a sudden. You're going to tell me something entertaining? Oh, wait. That's what you're waiting on me. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to uh, add some embellishments to a couple of these, I guess. We're doing this on the fly because I wasn't prepared to embellish them. <laughs> I've got some distress ink, a uh, walnut stain. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit to the edges of this. I think I've got a stamp set that I should get out. That's got some cool sayings that I can then stamp them and we can put those on top. And that kind of gives a little bit of a theme to each of these. What does that sound like? I like the way these came out. Oh, I get you saying embellished her bank because she was going to send them in the mail. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to send them embellished. I just won't put giant embellishments on them. I'll keep them pretty simple. But Norella is going to get us a digital download. So those of you that didn't 
win when you uh, leave a comment here. You'll at least get that so you can make your own. Okay. All right. Where's the whiskey? Arnold says his children are home. <laughs> so it's like, yeehaw, here we go, Dad. <laughs> uh, I'm grabbing a couple of stamp sets so that I can stamp some sayings on here. <laughs> Erica says she's got her whiskey right there. You can get it from her. <clears throat> Just grabbing a piece of cardstock. Let's see what else I can grab here. Oh, I just, I've been looking for this. <laughs> I've been looking for this bottle for a month and I just found it, y'all. <laughs> it was is in a safe spot. <laughs> do, you, do you ever have that happen to you? You get up and you're looking for something and then it's like, where'd it go? I, I can't find it. I don't understand what happened. It was right there. I know I put it someplace so I can find it again and then it disappears. Right? Does that, does that ever work for anybody else? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I think I've got an idea of what I want to do. I'm trying not to make it too bumpy in case I have to send it to somebody. You know, we're sending it through the mail. I don't have a lot of money for postage. Speaking of which, you can follow me on Patreon. I have set up a patreon account for any of you that want to support me financially and you'll get special things like i'm working on videos right now that are only going to be shown to patrons okay here we go i think i've got the saying we're going to use um it is better to take risk than miss a moment of magic what do you think Yeah, it's, it's funny how our craft room has become a black hole. It's like, where the heck? It was just there. I just had it in my hand. What What's going on, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> I think if I trim this um, one and a half inches, it can probably do one and a half, one and a half square. So what I like to do is I like to cut my paper before I stamp on it because it's easier for me to maneuver if I do that. And what I'm doing right now is just making a one and three quarters inch square because that way it'll give us a little bit of a border around our stamped image. <clears throat> I like die sayings too. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> the craft fairy took it. Yes, I can. I can identify with that. <laughs> I can. I can. I'm gonna use my misty. You don't have to use a misty. You can use an acrylic block. You can use some a Tupperware dish that's flat. Just whatever you need to with your rubber stamps. I'm just using the tools that I enjoy and that work for me, okay? And I don't get any money for using this uh, product unless you use my link to buy it off of Amazon. So now what I'm doing, I'm just kind of centering that saying. I'm gonna lift this up so I can see it. I think that's pretty centered. And then I'm gonna put the magnet here on the corner and this, ah, I hate it when I do that, here and here. And that's just to help keep that piece of paper in place. And we're going to pick up that stamp. And then I've got my brilliance again. Yeah, Robin says, I knew there's a craft fairy out there, Sandra. I... I have mixed feelings about the Tim Holtz platform. I've noticed that it seems to kind of flex a little bit. And 
I don't always get a perfect impression, but it's great for when I'm doing something big that won't fit into my Misty. So I don't really use it that much. It's a great tool. I guess I'm using it wrong. <laughs> Well, Sandra, I kind of get a little bit on advertising if you use my link to go to Amazon to buy it, or, you know, if it's one of like uh, Canvas Court brands, I kind of get credit because they let me get more stuff when I go. <laughs> and if you will watch and add to its entirety while on my channel, that helps me. So, you know, just whenever you come watch the ad, I don't care, mute it, <laughs> let it play. Um, that's what I do with a lot of my friends. I just let it sit there and go do something else until I hear that they're talking and then I'll watch. Um, but we get credit for that. And if the ad is appealing to you, um, click on it because I do get credit for clicking on those. So you know, but don't just willy nilly click on stuff to click on what you know you enjoy. Okay. Yes. And there's my Patreon. Um, I have started Patreon because a couple of my friends encouraged me to do that. And I am very blessed. I already have two patrons. I am tickle pink. And by the way, if you sign up today, your payment does not come out until November 1st. So those of you that aren't on payday, you know, but you want to subscribe, I have a $10 level and you do get a freebie with that. And you're more than welcome to join there. And then I have other levels as well. I decided I need one more piece cut. So I'm, I'm using my lap now. That's what happens to me because <laughs> I've got the Misty up here. It's in my way. And I didn't want to move it to use the paper cutter because Naomi knows that I am lazy. <laughs> I said the Tim Holtz one works great. I just with on some things, I don't know if I'm pushing too hard. It flexes on me and I'm like, why did it do that? I said, I think I'm using it wrong. All right. Because we have four little taggies, I wanted four sayings. You with me, Vern? All right. Um, I have the six by eight one. I think it's six and a half by eight and a half. Um, there is a bigger one. And I think there's a smaller one. But I, I like this one. It works great for me. I hardly do really big stuff that I need the platform for. I, I will use it, you know. So it just kind of depends upon what you need, what you're using. Yeah, so watching the ad is supportive. We appreciate that. Those of us that have our channels monetized on YouTube. So anytime you're watching somebody that you want to support, watch the ad. I mean, it's, I know it's annoying and they last anywhere from a couple of seconds to two minutes. But, you know, just go do something else. Go get a cup of coffee and come back. Go to the bathroom and come back. And then what will happen is even if you didn't get back in time. You can back up the video and play again and you won't get the same ad. Okay. Well, Robin, you should get out that uh, set platform and play with that. All right. So here's what I've got. I've got a couple of doilies. And I may start selling these in my shop because I bought a couple thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandra. Um, the stamp sayings were delusions, rangers. These are some of the old ones. You may be able to find them on like eBay. So delusions by rangers, clear stamps. And these were the ones um, by Diane Rivery. Riverly? Rivery. I don't ever say it right.
Rarely. Okay. So I could Reverly. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> okay, so I've got um, some. We've got some of these. What do we want to do here? I think if I do this right, I need to. Okay, we're going to put some paint on our paint palette. And we're going to use this teal color. And we're going to make a mess, y'all. You ready? <laughs> okay. I need another piece of paper. Okay, we'll just use this. There we go. All right. So I'm going to get into this paint. I've got a little dry brush. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right around the edge, kind of messily. And we're going to add color. I mean, why not? We're just going to do this mixed media style. Wouldn't uh, Diane want us to do that too? So you don't have that color of paper in your stash and you want the, a mat to your artwork. Well, you know what? If you use this color of paint in the artwork, you can make your own piece of paper that has color around it. <laughs> I love what Henry says. The way to be autocorrect is to smell, misspell the world so badly that computer can't recognize it. <laughs> yeah, so you can use that mixed media stock and, and make your own little color pieces you know so what i'll do next is think about how i want to or if i want to do anything to that doily while i do the others what do you think i'm going to lay this here so you can see it while i paint these others and you can tell me what else i should put around that tag okay <clears throat> So I'm just going to go around this again. Are y'all even listening to me? <laughs> I see the chat going. Okay, I could glimmer miss the doily. I could. What color? What color do you think we should glimmer miss that doily? Now that you're looking at it. Bye, Mia. Good night. Get a good night's sleep. Bye-bye. Henry, you were trying to click a link and had problems? Of course, you are Henry, so that happens a lot. He's technology and he don't mix well. <laughs> what do you think? You like that? Do you like that idea? Henry's not listening to me. <laughs> Glimmerize turquoise. Okay, we can get a turquoise out. We can do that for sure. I'm almost out of paint. Let's see if we can get these done. Robin says pink. She always says pink. I've got a really bright pink. I don't know if that would be too much, though. Purple or teal. All right, who's going to say pink or a nice burgundy, my husband says. Are you talking about wine, honey? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Austin is being content. Chris is saying orange. Actually, you know what it would be pretty is maybe a, a pale peach. Because you wouldn't be expecting that, right? What do you think? Maybe a pale peach? Because we've got the teal on the saying, and we've got the teal on the tag. And I hope that, you know, as you're listening to me say these things and making suggestions, that you're learning from it, you know, learning from what you're seeing 
so that you can sit down and say, okay, now Linda said, try thinking about what would go together, what looks good together, you know, what compliments, or maybe you're trying to make a bold statement. We'll do that and, and, and stick with it and own it. If you're trying to do real feminine, you know, use those shabby sheet colors. Okay. <laughs> Les says every color is purple. It's just in denial is in there's any other color. <laughs> Yeah, um, I still have a color wheel. Um, where is it? I just had it a few minutes ago. I have a color wheel. It's a cheap one. You know, and so I can look at it. You know, when I was making my, my violet uh, rainbow page, you know, I was trying to decide, well, you know, we had blue violet and we have indigo, but really it's not even... Uh, named on here and so I was like well really what color schemes do I want to go in and and it kind of helped me be able to pick that okay Austin says make a bold statement after a few sips of whiskey <laughs> yes and, and Naomi says you can make your own color wheel with the colors that you have all right I think I have a peach here let me find it I call it peach. It's called Italian sunset. Okay. It's kind of a peachy color. Let me get my little spray box here. Good night, Cindy. Good night. <laughs> okay. So I've got I'm hoping that this sprayer works because this one has a lot of mica in it. Uh, okay, let's spray this. Oh, yeah. What do you think? It's just a little pink, peachy. Okay. So we're going to do three of those, four of those. So I have plenty now that we see that it works. Sandra says, go outside or go outside the box. Circle. <laughs> oh, dear. You liking this? It's kind of fun to just sit and play. And I'm peeling apart doilies now. These are so delicate. I mean, it's like three of them were stuck together. <laughs> oh, yeah, Allie, I keep forgetting that. So glad to have everybody here. I hope you're enjoying this. You're learning something. You're making some new friends. I'm going to dry these because they're kind of thin and I really coated them. I do too. They they look really pretty. You know, I, I've sprayed it on my paper back here. And you can see how it's kind of come through. Isn't that a pretty color? It's called Italian Sunset. Italian Sunset. Just a little bit of color. These are almost dry. You know, and that's one thing about doilies. If they're wet, they will rip to shreds. <laughs> they are not a happy thing to use in wet mix media. <laughs> we'll let that dry just a little bit more while that. I'm going to grab some ribbon. Okay, I've kind of got a peachy color. I think if I do something like that, what do y'all think for that ribbon? And I think I've got another one I can grab. I think, oh, here we go. So let's do that. 
and maybe that. What do you think? Do we got the right colors? Does that, that look pretty good? Do you like that? Okay, let me give you that um, Facebook link again. So, uh, my hand is caught. Can't get to my mouse. Behave. Paste. There's my Facebook page. Yeah, you can um, leave a comment on my um, event that we had to get here today. Or you can come back after we stop the live feed and leave a comment. I just thought that would make it easy. I'll post a link for the, um, oh, I ended up with way more than I need, um, my event when I get done here. So we need, what else do we need here? Oh, I know, I need some fuzzy stuff. Some of this stuff, maybe. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, let me put this in the water. And let's build a couple of these tags now that we've got our doilies. What do you think? So I'm going to take this doily and we're going to use some glue stick that I know I just had a brand new thing of. Glue stick. Alrighty, so I'm going to use the paper towel and you want a juicy glue stick because if it's not and you try to do this, your doily won't stick and you'll be really upset. But you just want to be real gentle and I'm going to wrap it around to the back. Oh, apparently I picked up some paint. I'm making a mess. So we won't use this. <laughs> oh, the gold, you like the yellow? Yeah, there was yellow in there, but I think the peach kind of it gives us a whole different vibe, in my opinion. Um, let me try some of this. So I'm just wrapping a length around my fingers. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to just kind of stick this like that. What do you think? Can you see that? All right, you like that. Yay! I did something right. I did something right. So, yeah, so you're going to want to come back to this video when the time is up. And I don't think I put enough glue on that. Yeah. All right. Um, when the video is over with, you want to come back and leave a comment about what you liked. Okay. Now I'm going to set this aside and put a, I got a stamp here. And I'm going to sit on top of it to help smush that into place. Because there's nothing like having things pop up on you. All right. Well, we'll do that on the rest of these. What do you think? I'll just pretty much make them the same. I don't see a problem with duplicating your work. Um, there's a lot of people that are like, no, you can't make two alike. That's not cool. But they're not exactly alike. They're going to be similar. I've already got all the supplies out. Why not you know, use all of it to make something cool? And once you've made them the same so many times, I find that doing this kind of, I don't know, soothes my soul of, I've made it and I don't have to make it again for a while, if that makes any sense. So I may wear it out <laughs> right when I first make them. You know, I'll make all of these and uh, 
And he felt like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to make any more. <laughs> I like Kylie's accent too. It's fun. I like to listen to her. All right, so I'm going to do all of these while I'm at it. I think I've changed my tactic. I'm going to put the glue directly on the tag and then put the doily down because for some reason this glue stick wasn't enough to keep the doily down when I did it the other way. And what I like about glue stick, it dries clear and it doesn't stay sticky. So in a few minutes, that'll be dry. All right, so we got this little one. What do we want to do here? Something like that, and then just trim off the excess. What do you think? I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, Sandra, you can you can do here on YouTube. Just when this video is over, just come back and leave a comment, okay? Yeah, creating your own stuff is rewarding. You know, you can say, it's mine. I made that. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. So that was me. I put my heart and soul into that. I'm just going to trim this off. See there? <clears throat> All right. Well, I am just about done here. And if you have any questions, is there anything that you want to know about, definitely ask. And next week, we're going to do a gel press playtime. And I will get out my gel press and we will just goof off and make prints. We can talk about how we use them and uh, what's our favorite designs that we kind of use. Okay. Isn't that peach cool? I, I think that turned out really nice so far. I think it's looking really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three to make ribbons to come off the top. You like that? Okay, H2O boy say yit. <laughs> you like it? All right, I'm putting a lot of glue on here. I'm just going to plop this down on top. And then I've got another rubber stamp. Let's find something heavy. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, okay, good. You found me. Found me. Oh yeah, and I have links to Amazon in my description box, and I'll also come back and share um, links to be able to get a gel press if you don't have one. If you're going to order one anyway, then why not use my link and let me get a little credit, please, and thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Why not? You wouldn't have thought of this. <laughs> um, <and> this <laughs> thank you, Renee. You know, and that's just it. I want all of you to look at these things that I'm doing and be like, oh, I can do that. I love it. That's that's way easier than I thought it was. Look at that. I've weighted them all down. <laughs> Good. Glad, please help on Amazon. If you're going to order anyway, use my link uh, or ask me for a link and I will gladly give it to you. And I, it's not a huge amount. It's not even 10%, but it's something. Okay, I think the first one is flat. So that's the first one. 
move. See, this is what happens to me. I end up with no room. <laughs> yeah, you know, and there's a lot of us artists that have affiliate on um Amazon on Amazon. So if you you watch somebody, do you look in their um do you look in their description boxes? And if you're going to buy something anyway, support them. Because that's kind of how we're making a little bit of money. Um, I'm hoping that with the subscription boxes that I'm designing, curating, that you guys will love them enough that it may actually help me make a living and I don't have to go get a real job. I keep asking Henry, do I need to get a real job yet? And he says, no, not yet. And I'm like, okay, well, let me know. <laughs> Cause I'm not getting rich y'all. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Chandra. I'm glad you liked it. I think I want some fuzzies. Don't we need some fuzzies? Fuzzies. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I I really appreciate it. And I, I have fun. I enjoy doing this. If I can make enough money that I don't have to go get a real job, I'll keep doing it. I don't need to get rich. I don't need to be a millionaire. But, you know, I had enough to pay the electric bill. That would be good. <laughs> okay, so I just took a piece of wax linen thread and used it to thread all of these through the hole. So if you've ever been frustrated and unable to get the ribbons to go through so that they would loop around the way you want them, then try using another piece of string. You'll be amazed. Have a great night, Allie. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. You know, and I am happy. It it's, it's gives me a purpose. I feel like that I'm helping a lot of people that don't know. And, and I've got some haters that I don't like the way that I, you know, share and encourage. Um, so it's kind of funny when I get all these thumbs up on my video, you know, I've got 150 thumbs up and there's one thumbs down and it was done right when the video started. And there's, I've got a petty person who follows me and it's hilarious. <laughs> okay. So there's one with the ribbons. You like that? Like it, like it a lot. I'll even sign them. Okay. So you'll have an original Linda Israel art. <laughs> I know it's like people are like, you know, I don't like this. Okay. I'm sorry. I bless your heart. Have a fabulous day. We don't have to love everything. And even if I don't like something on YouTube, unless it's just utterly graphic and gross and violent and needed to be taken down, I don't give them a thumbs down either. That's just not in my nature. My nature is to say, hey, you can do this. You're doing an awesome job. Thank you for sharing. I know how much work it is to create a video. So I want to encourage people. You like it? I'm glad. Yeah, see me either, Kylie. It's just, it doesn't seem like a very supportive community if you're going to go around giving thumbs down um if there was something you really didn't like what was it and how can they improve it how can they make it better and you don't have to be snide about it you just say hey you know i would like it a lot better if you didn't do um embossing because it bothers me with the noise of the heat tool, you know, so that's okay. Well, I can work on that next time. I won't emboss on air, you know, give constructive feedback to people. Don't just knock them down to knock them down. That's just mean. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Yes. Yes. Sandra, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. If I hate it, I just move on. Turn the volume down. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
So there's another one. So we, we got two left. Got two left. We got this one and the other, the small one. So four people are going to win a tag. And Norella and I are going to work together to make a digital download. So to find out more about that, you want to follow me on my Facebook page so that when I post it, you'll have the link so you can download. Okay. So Linda Israel is my Facebook page. I shared it a moment ago. We can share it again in a moment. So I get another string cut. What did you like about today? Yeah, people, you want them now, huh? <laughs> hmm. You know, a lot of people wouldn't have put the peach with the teal. Mint green is a color that a lot of people would put with the peach, but not necessarily a teal. And I don't know, I kind of like it. The fuzzies. Everything. Yeah. So next week we'll do the gel press. How many of you have one and have never used it? I had the opportunity in January to go to a special gel press workshop put on by San... Sandra? Oh, I forgot her name all of a sudden. Maybe it was Susan. Yeah, you know, she's kind of like the director over the education side. And she did the workshop and she did a fabulous job. And I learned so much about a gel press. Oh, Robin made her own gel press. I tried to do that once and I don't think I had the right ratios. It ended up ripping on me. I wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah everything i must have from calico collage <laughs> good night angelica tammy says she has two and hardly uses them thank you kathy thank you deborah oh yours came out perfect yesterday you you were another one that made your own I saw somebody else, one of my Facebook friends, posted, I made my own jelly plate. And that was Ellen. Yeah, that's you, Ellen. <laughs> she said it came out perfect. I thought that was you, Ellen. Sometimes I don't follow instructions well. <laughs> I know Kyla uses them a lot. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. So definitely come and watch even if you don't have one because then you can kind of decide if that's something you want to invest in. Or you can learn other techniques that I share. Okay. Yeah, you can get a lot of fun pages from them. A lot of neat texture and whatnot. I'm just trying to be gentle when I'm pulling this ribbon through so I don't rip the tag top. I've got all this thickness. I kind of like it that it's got a wonky knot. It's interesting to me anyway. Kind of pull it through. Okay, look at that. So you kind of understand what a master board is, right? Does everybody understand now that what you can do with a master board, you can make a piece like this, and now you have all of these pieces that match. Um, if you aren't using copyrighted items, you can scan it in and then have um, artwork you can use over and over. So I'm going to sign these. And this was October, what is today? I've forgotten already, 15th, 2018, all right? So I'm gonna sign all these, I'll get them ready. Um, what we'll do is next, um, no, I don't wanna wait that long. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you that long. I'm gonna give you a week 
to leave a comment below or in the Facebook event for the Mixed Media um, Master Board of what you liked about the video. And then four people are going to get their name drawn next Monday. Okay? So it'll give you a whole week to do it. That way everybody gets a great opportunity to watch this live. Okay? And then as soon as we've got the digital, we will uh, get that posted and let you guys get it in play. Okay? All right. Is there any more questions? Anything anybody else has to say or wants to do? I'm trying to keep this under two hours today. <laughs> We're almost there. I got five minutes. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really appreciate you being here and watching and being supportive. I love how this one turned out. Um, I just really thank you for that. And you make me laugh and make me smile. My face usually hurts when I'm done with the stream from smiling and laughing so much. <laughs> okay, Tammy, I'm glad you like the step of step layers. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to show it so you understood that it's all about layers. It's about letting those layers dry. Yes, I did use a cardstock for the base, Ellen. Um, you know, it's just use your, take your time, use layers. Good, Austin. Good. Good night, Deborah. Thank you, Kylie. I appreciate all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all have a blessed night. We'll see you next week. And I'll also have a tutorial on Saturday coming up. I may get some other things posted this week. Depends how busy I get. Um, so I'm trying to do at least two videos a week, the live stream and then a tutorial. All right. But I have lots of old videos, too, that you can watch to be inspired. Just remember, you know, this is this is goodies that I share all the time. So all my videos have something good in them. Enjoy them. All right. Y'all have a, a good night. And um, as I always say, OK, you hang up now. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to hang up. So uh, I, I'm going to hang up when you hang up. <laughs> And, and good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. No, you hang up. Night, Sandra. <laughs> night, Deanna. Bye, Robin. <laughs> uh, Julie says, oh, man, now fuzzy was he is stuck in my head. <laughs> Uh, well, fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Isn't a fuzzy wuzzy? <laughs> Where was a fuzzy wuzzy? <laughs> the pop of yellow was a good idea. I see it's just a little bit on there. All right. Good night. You hang up now. Have a fabulous night. I love you. Bye. Okay. I'm going to hit the button now. <laughs> You, Carmen, you never get to see how long it actually takes for it to actually hang up. <laughs> All righty. I, hey, I'm at one minute and 58 seconds. <laughs> or 58 minutes. One hour and 58 minutes. So I'm going to do it under two so I can say this is under two hours this time. All right. Love y'all. Take care. Y'all have a good one. Bye.